All right, guys, welcome to your 32nd and last tutorial working with the castle. And actually, I want to tell you guys something. I actually just recorded this tutorial and I pressed produce to actually make the video. And it said, Oh, you got to air. Camtasia's messing up. So now I have to do the whole dang thing again. But for you guys, I guess this is your first time watching it. So here we go. So, what we're going to be doing is we have the basic shell of our castle made. And now I want to add some lights to it. So let's go ahead and up in our content browser. Oh, I already have my lights selected right here because I already did the freaking tutorial. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, calm down, calm down, Bucky. So let's go ahead and drag this out right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and position this exactly where we want it. And what I'm going to be doing is the very first thing I'm going to be doing is resizing this light. And I'm going to resize it to 2.25 because I already did this tutorial on this. And that's the size I need it to be. So anyways, now just go ahead and grab this light and first position it vertically. Like right about there. And now what we want to do is in our top view, drag it right. I want to add three lights along the hallway. The first light I'm going to add kind of near the statue. So let's go ahead and rotate this. And rotate it 90 degrees so we can stick it right on the wall nicely so right about there it looks good and actually if we go in our front view we can go ahead and move this and push it right back and make sure it's stuck right on the wall so go ahead and make sure in your perspective view that it looks about the right height and that looks pretty good to me so now if we go ahead in our top view we can go ahead and duplicate this a couple times uh, I'm just gonna add three lights like I said so go ahead and alt drag that out and alt drag that one out so now we have three lights along the hallway and actually what I'm going to be doing is going to hit control control so I have all three lights selected on that side and if you go ahead and switch over to rotation mode hold down alt and rotate we're going to go ahead and copy all three of those lights so now just go ahead and move this and zoom out make sure you don't deselect them because switch over to move and position those directly across from your other lights so now you can make sure they're directly across because if you go up in your side view right here just make sure they're butted up right up against the wall and we can verify that by if we fly around in perspective mode we can see that these lights are indeed butted up against the wall nicely so what I'm going to be doing is actually before I even continue if we were to go ahead and play this game right now we would notice that there's a little light coming from here and there's a little light coming from the statue but that isn't a game light that's just from the emit mode on the materials so actually let me go ahead and pause this video and show you what I'm talking about so I'll be back in one second all right, all right. <laughs> I went ahead and I uh, built my lights and I was kinda making some noises I don't know if you guys heard that but let me go ahead and hit play from here and show you guys what I was talking about. See those lights right here? Those aren't game lights. Those are just the material that's lighting up. Remember when we talked about material in like the last, I don't know, 10 tutorials ago? There's a certain aspect that you can add to the material to make it appear to glow. But this isn't really useful whenever you're trying to play the game. So whenever we're playing the game, we need to add some real lights. And in order to do that, probably the easiest way is hello didn't know my camera was that fast okay the easiest way is just go ahead and hold L and click on the light and then this adds the actual game light so if we go ahead and switch to a lit mode real quick we can see that there is now a light coming from where that light should be pretty sweet huh and actually you want to pull this out just a little bit to make sure that because you know we don't want it to be in the static mesh or else it might give some weird vibes so go ahead and just pull that out a little bit and now what we can do is switch over to top view and just add one of these lights on top of each of our lights in the game so hold down alt and drag alt and drag and now hold down alt and drag it on the other side let me scroll out to give you guys a better idea of what's going on and alt and drag and alt and drag so now if you go ahead and hop over to oh we already are in lit mode um our hallway is looking pretty good and lit up but if we scroll out here we notice that the front entryway is kind of dark 
and trick-or-treaters might get kind of scared to come up to your house and ask for candy during Halloween. So we're going to go ahead and light up the outside. So go ahead and what I'm going to want to do is just copy, oops, control Z. I'm just going to go ahead and copy one of these lights. So go ahead and alt and drag that out. And I might as well rotate it 90 degrees right now. 90 degrees, right like that. And oh, let me see who's texting me. You guys don't mind, I'm in the middle of the tutorial right now. It's my mom, and she says, when, with a question mark. But I forgot what I said before that, so I'll worry about that later. So anyways, if we go ahead and in our move tool, drag this above our peak, and that looks pretty good right there. And now in our front view, we can go ahead and push this right to the wall. And if we go ahead and switch over to our unlit mode and in perspective view, we can verify that this is indeed butted up right against the wall where we need it to. So now I want to add one of these lights to the other side. So gra go ahead and grab one of those and hold down all and drag it to this other side. And now hold down L on your keyboard, click and add some game lights right there. So add one right there and in our side view right here, go ahead and hold down alt and drag one over here. So now if you go ahead and scroll out and look in lit mode, our game is now looking, that looks pretty epic. The only thing is this light looks like it's a little bit in our static mesh. So go ahead and push that out just a little bit. And now we get a more natural light. So what I'm going to do is actually going to go ahead and build my lights, pause this tutorial, and when everything's built, um, I'm going to actually play the game and, uh, you know, maybe I'll talk a little bit more. So hold on one second. As soon as I restart this tutorial, my mom texts me again. So let's see. Oh, interesting. My sister's texting me about Twilight. And, uh, well, I won't spoil it for you, but she's basically uh, keeping me updated on Twilight. So any, anyways, my level is now built. So if you go ahead and hit play from here, check it out. We now get a sweet looking level. And you might not be able to tell in this hallway because I added, you know, a lot of lights but as you can see outside light is emitting exactly come on jeez let me see what she said yup interesting whoa easy mouse so as you can see light is emitting exactly where we wanted it to via the light source so that's all i wanted to cover in these tutorials again i know i didn't go over a whole lot concerning static meshes but there basically isn't a whole lot to go over concerning static meshes once you know how to work with them and place them, it's basically practice makes perfect. So what I would do is, if I was building a real level, I would go ahead and line everything up real nice and neat. But for the sake of this tutorial, I just want to teach you guys the quick basics of static meshes and you know how to use them and how you can piece them together. So what I want you guys to do is build the best level you can and share it with the community. Show us what your level looks like, and uh, you know you can either put it as a video response or take a screenshot and add it to my forum or website and share it with everyone. So I want to see your guys' level. Hopefully it's a lot better than mine because this one only took like, what, 10 or 15 minutes? But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.